welcome to another Minecraft City video where today guys I'm going to be teaching you guys some tips and tricks on how to add details to your city so please leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new and before we get to the video make sure you guys go over and follow Anchored Up there's going to be an amazing video coming out this week on that channel and as well as go and follow my Twitch guys we are now on the road to 100 followers thank you guys so much for getting me to 50 followers I'm now going through the um, process of applying for monetization on Twitch. So thank you guys so much for the immense support on there. And uh, yeah, anyways, let's get to the tips that I'm going to give you guys for detailing your city. You guys do when you guys are planning out your details for your city is make sure you guys have features that are interactable. So when you guys are building your buildings or when you guys are building something near a building like a little stool or something like that you guys make sure that it kind of has interactive elements so players when they join your world can come up and look at it and interact with it like this for instance this you can interact with his hand right i mean and look he's like making the food pretty cool huh it's it's quite simple but it, it's really nice and I think we used to have um, a campfire under here, but I don't know what happened to it. I think we took it off. But um, yeah, so interactive features, guys. Just make the world feel more lived in and more lively. Like this, for instance, is a bin trash can. Um, just like little things like that, like interactive features that you can interact with. Really help make your worlds pop out and visually just feel more real, you know? And that's what I think a lot of you guys are thriving for when you guys are building your cities. So yeah, let's go on to our next tip. So our next tip is make sure you guys don't just do the same five or six vehicle types in your city. Try and make sure you have a variety of different vehicle types in your city. I've done so many different types of vehicle tutorials. So go and watch those if you haven't already. Um, there's so many on the channel and I plan to do more of those in the near future hopefully. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys are doing different versions of different types of vehicles. You know, don't just do the same like five or six vehicles and just do ferraris or whatever because that will just look weird and it will not fit your city very well and it will not visually look a very detaily and it won't look very good either so yeah make sure you guys do not do that when you are doing your detailing on your streets but the next detail i recommend you guys add that i don't see a lot of city builders doing nowadays is scenery around the build so when you guys are building your buildings like this um you guys must make sure that you have scenery scenery just adds that extra visual appeal to your builds there are certain builds that obviously it won't work with and some builds it will work better with than others but if you can add some kind of scenery to it then definitely do so like this is a prime example adding little bits of scenery guys just makes the building have that extra bit of pop a bit of oomph to it when you look at it from afar and it just makes your world look visually a bit more appealing because then it's just not just whites and sandstones and browns and bricks and all that color all the color palettes that you guys see it's nice to have some life in the world so that is why i recommend you guys add some kind of scenery even if it's a small piece of scenery makes you guys have some scenery it's better than none and it just makes your build look a bit better like this building for instance has like even natural kind of like little bits of nature and he did this like really nice blossom tree so big ups to Suz on this so yeah it's a really good example of what i'm trying to say but it adds more character and story to the build and it gives it more of a purpose rather than it just being like oh i don't know another build like i don't know this for instance which doesn't have anything surrounding it to make it feel like it's a part of the city but yeah let's go on to the next tip ah an interior guys you guys know how much i love interiors it just adds extra character to a world. It actually makes it feel like it's lived in. Rather than just feeling like it's on its own. And just there eh, for the sake of it. You know. Like and that's why I value detailing your interiors so so much. Making your interiors look a bit different than everyone else's. Make it pop. Make it visually stand out from the crowd. You know. Make sure it looks like it would fit in your city world. Whatever it is. So if it's for like a restaurant or whatever. Make sure it fits. Because you guys, honestly, you guys can make interiors look so, so good, honestly. If you guys are not the best at doing exterior, interior is definitely 
something that I would recommend you guys give a try because it's so very much creative and it can really help you guys improve your overall building so when you guys do try and do exterior building again you guys have interior tips and knowledge which I've covered a lot of on the channel if you guys want to go check that out but make sure your interiors are detailed as it is very important when you guys are getting your cities out there i have made it to this halfway point of the video make sure you guys leave a comment saying hashtag most detailed city on ps4 i will know if you guys have watched this up to this point of the video if you guys leave that comment in the comment section below under your message that you leave for me to respond to in the comments so yeah Next tip guys i'm going to give you how to make your cities look really detailed and stand out from the crowd is i'm going to combine two of the t previous videos that i've made into one little like segment of this video so you guys don't have to go and watch those videos to save you guys watching them but um yeah you guys can go watch those if you want but uh, i'm going to cover them right now so what you guys are seeing here is obviously a good color combination so when you guys are planning out a build or a pathway make sure you guys use the similar types of blocks to it so like here granite we use terracotta and brick in order to just add some extra detailing to this and obviously the sandstone i've taught you guys so many times but sandstone looks amazing with this design like this detailing looks amazing with it and it stands out visually also cobblestone and dead coral blocks you know works really nicely just for that simplistic effect of um detailing but and uh, also your obviously your stairs also work really well with your sandstones but that's kind of a given because it's the same type of block really to be honest apart from minor differences but yeah that is what i recommend and also obviously make sure that when you guys are doing this make sure you test a set of blocks first before you go straight in because if you go in straight away and then you mess it up then you guys can end up easily messing up and it can look horrible so make sure you experiment like i did when i was doing this pathway first before you guys go ahead and start doing a massive build so yeah make sure you guys do that when you guys are detailing your roads and your paths and your apartment buildings skyscrapers or whatever you guys are Next building tip, guys i'm gonna give you is to add some characters that add some figurines like people to make the world feel like it's actually lived in by people you know <laughs> rather than just having it be like all this detail and then you just don't have anyone living in it uh make sure that you guys do have it in your cities in order for you to have a very nice like little feel to your city when people are coming around like you could have little dialogue scenes between two people and you guys could have them interacting you could create a story out of one of them you could you could have a whole narrative built around it you could create like your own little story about this character's life or something just small little things like that can really add uh, even more like minute little small detail to your city that otherwise you would just not be like recognized for you know because like a lot of people do not put like characters like story building world building etc into their worlds because they just feel it they see it as a waste of time boring you know not gonna get me anywhere i want to build like 50 glass towers which i know you guys don't do well i hope you don't if you're watching my videos but if you do <laughs> hi how are you um i'm dr Trangard. <laughs> but yeah um anyways make sure you guys do add some characters to your world make sure you have a story built in like add in like street names to your world you know just add in some like add in some street names some villages some like actual people not villagers because villagers are counted as a mob cap and i would really not want to have fifty thousand villagers in my city but you guys can do that if you want it's up to you but yeah i thought i would give you guys that you guys tip have enjoyed this how to add more detail to your city video make sure you guys leave a like subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the section comment section below let me know what your favorite tip was that i showcased in this video and make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new for future city videos like this as well as glitch videos and other videos that are really really cool so make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe if you're new follow me on twitch at dr anchored which is linked in the description follow me on anchored up which is my second gaming channel linked in the description a really good video coming out this week on that channel guys so yeah make sure you guys go over there 
and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video or live stream goodbye guys thank you so much for watching see you tomorrow